Johansson there in Sao Paulo, thank you very much indeed for joining us. We are uh, just going to be joining our colleagues in the news channel on, uh, on BBC News in the next few minutes for an important announcement that we have been uh, getting in to BBC News. And uh, let us go now to my colleagues in BBC News. He's been their Captain General for nearly 65 years. Prince Philip's own military career in the Royal Navy saw active service during the Second World War. But that's uh, ended after his uh, wife's coronation in 1953. He dedicated himself to supporting the Queen in her work. The parade was the last of the Duke's 22,000 solo public engagements, a great support all those years to Her Majesty the Queen. Away from the military, he was president or patron of more than 750 organisations, many of them involved with the protection of the environment and the encouragement of sport. He was by far the longest serving consort to a monarch in British history. Let's just remind you of that statement released in the last few minutes from Buckingham Palace. It says, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. We are interrupting our normal programmes to bring you an important announcement. You're watching BBC News from London. A short while ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. In a statement, the palace said, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme reporting the death of the Duke of Edinburgh. watching BBC News. A short while ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. In a statement, the palace said, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme. Now, Prince Philip was the longest serving royal consort in British history. He was at the Queen's side for more than 70 years. He held a central role in British public life, loyally representing the Queen at home and abroad and supporting the monarch in all of her duties. The Duke had served in the Royal Navy before embracing royal duties full time when his wife became Queen in 1952. He was Her Majesty's closest advisor, responsible for modernising aspects of royal life, making the family more accessible and less formal in its ways. 
Philip led a remarkably active life, supporting hundreds of charities, campaigning for nature conservation, promoting leadership, and encouraging young people to test their abilities in the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme. During his long life, he maintained a close bond with the armed services, especially the Royal Navy, and encouraged his children and grandchildren to serve as he had done. Philip was known for his outspoken style and sometimes his controversial wit and could be relied upon to speak his mind, even on difficult issues. With Philip's death, the royal household has lost a dominant figure. Her Majesty has lost a husband and British public life has lost a powerful presence, a man whose momentous life spanned a century. Let's just remind you of the uh, statement that has been issued in the last few minutes from Buckingham Palace. It says, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Our Royal Correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, joins us now on the line. Nicholas, a long life now ended, devoted to service to the Queen and the country. Yes, a life of service alongside his wife, as you say. Uh, two months and one day short of what would have been his 100th birthday, a milestone that he was so determined to reach and for which the royal family would have gathered in celebration at Windsor Castle. Not a surprise, given his age, given the fact that uh, just over a month ago, of course, he was in hospital for, for a month. Uh, uh, he underwent some uh, heart surgical procedure, uh, but he left hospital looking frail, but returning to Windsor Castle to spend these last weeks with his wife, the Queen. And this is a huge blow for her, as indeed it is for any spouse, leaving, losing uh, a, a partner, uh, with whom they have been for more than 70 years, 73 years, a greater span of years than most